Well, Kate Bush, obviously. You know, we did a duet together. Um, although the one thing was, uh, I'd been a fan of Kate's for years. I mean, every musician on the planet is a fan of Kate's because, <laughs> you know, the term genius gets batted about a lot in our industry. She deserves that term. She's she is a genius, and uh, and and, and I kind of got to know her because we were on the same label. And we we did a we did a Princess Trust the very first Princess Trust concert, which was Prince Charles's charity thing, and she appeared at it, and I, I was playing guitar in the in the backing band, and uh, and I we were at a party. This is, this is a dreadful name dropping. We were at Prince Charles's um, in Diana's palace, and. Uh, uh, for a party, they were throwing a party for all the artists who had contributed their time and efforts for the, the Prince's Trust. And Kate was there, uh, and we were having a chat. She was asking what I was doing. I said, a new album. I've just written this duet, and I, I, I just went for it. I said, I'd love you to do it. She said, oh, great, send it over. So I sent her over the big two-inch multi-track tapes because she had her own studio, and she was in the middle of recording her own album. So I just thought, well... If she ever gets round to doing a vocal on there, you know, that'd be brilliant. But I'm not going to push it. Three days later, she called up and said, do you want to come over and hear what I've done? So I went to her studio and expected to hear one voice and I heard a Kate choir. She had multi-tracked her voices and, and done all the harmonies and obviously spent a lot of time on it. And I stood in the back of the studio with a tear in my eye and a lump in my throat. Because it was just one of those magic moments. You know, when, when you're doing interviews, people say, what, what the highlights of your life? And they expect it to say Live Aid. And you think, well, that was a highlight, but that's not the ones you remember. The ones you remember that really resonate are the one-on-ones that nobody sees. So doing a duet with Kate, or working with the great Mick Khan as a bass player, or Mark King from Level 42, all of those ones, playing guitar one-on-one with Eric Clapton and nobody's around to see it. <laughs> All of those things are, are magic moments. So Kate is definitely there as, a, as an artist. Um, and I'm going to say Mark Brzezicki, the drummer from Big Country, because we've done an awful lot over the years and he's one of the best drummers on the planet, so there we go. He doesn't sound very well. <laughs> Anything else? Yeah, I I... Oh, you've got a question. 